Hello, my cyber buddies. Welcome to another episode of the I Am Shana Cookbook. Today we will be making rotisserie chicken. And if you've never made rotisserie chicken before, you are in for a surprise as to how easy it is. Okay, so let's gather our stuff. Here we have it. We have our chicken, three pound chicken. Try to keep it at a maximum of three pounds if you're using an air fryer. If you're using the oven, I mean, I guess you could go as high as you want, depending on your oven. But as for the rotisserie air fryer, yeah, keep it at three pounds. Um, we'll get into the reason why. So right now I'm putting in one tablespoon of each of these ingredients. I started off with garlic salt. This is thyme. I use both the um, dry and fresh thyme. I usually don't use dried thyme, but this recipe kind of calls for it. And um, so I, you know, I used it. So um, next we're using, so what I have on the table basically is, um, this is pepper, um, black pepper, I have paprika, rosemary, salt, and garlic salt. So um, tablespoon of each will suffice. And you just put it in a little bowl. And then we're going to stir it once we're done putting everything in. So we're done with that. Now, paprika. One full tablespoon and then a little bit. This is for the, you know, I use that mostly for the color. <laughs> okay, and uh, so now we throw it in that rosemary. So the rosemary as well, I use fresh rosemary and the, um, the dry ones, see? And that's parsley, dry parsley. I use the dry and the fresh ones. But here's the thing. If you want, you could use either or. I just like um, the extra kick. So I put both. And mostly because I put the fresh ones on the inside of the chicken. That's what I use to stuff the chicken. And then the dry ones, I just, you know, season the outside of the chicken, which you'll see um, how I do it. So right now, once I have all of the spices in there, I mentioned two garlic and I throw it in there as well. So basically, again, it's um, garlic salt. Um, salt, thyme, black pepper, paprika, um, rosemary, and thyme. That's the dry ones. And rosemary, parsley, and thyme, fresh, and of course fresh garlic as well. So now I put the gar fresh garlic in the uh, spices. And 
and I stir it in there. So next we're going to get butter and we're going to put butter in the okay so here I don't know if a lot of you know this but your butter the paper that wraps the butter actually comes with the amount so here I'll be putting four um, quartz. So basically, it, I will melt uh, you melt it in the microwave for like thirty seconds, okay? And then you I you put it in there. Remember four? Is it four, four tablespoons? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, forgive me. I'm tired. So um yes. Yeah, so you stir. That's butter, garlic, and the spices. We stirred everything together. Now we're going to work it into the chicken. So there is a step that I didn't put up for you guys, and that is cleaning the chicken. I take all of the, you know, the stuff inside of it. I use lemon vinegar, you know, because chicken has salmonella, you don't want to, you know, get food poisoning or anything like that, so I, I, I clean the chicken prior to start shooting, as you can see, you know, so it's up to you how you like yours, but I do like, you know, it's a cultural thing, I clean my meat. So anywho, so we start working the season inside out. Let's see. Yep, and then I throw in the fresh herbs and spices. So now we just put the rest of the as you remember, it was going to rotate, so the flavor just going to be rotating in there locked. So I, I like to do this. So what I do is I stick a fork inside and then put season, season the seasoning um, under the skin. That helps the season get really deep, especially in the white meat area. That's usually like, it like has a bland taste, and but with... If you do that, it'll definitely cook the flavor in there. Because of the butter and all the spices, this tends to get messy. So if you do have gloves, uh, you should wear gloves, especially if you have, you know, fresh manicure. You want to... You don't want to, you know, mess that up, especially with the coloring as well. So I suggest you wear a glove. So see, I'm stuffing the season all on the sides. Yes, working it inside out. So a meal like that, uh, by the way, I'm also going to be making this meal with um, mixed um, roasted vegetables and mashed potatoes. So you'll probably see when I bring it all together at the end. I'll try my best to show you that. Yes, continue to work it because you know the butter makes it you know a little slippery the seasoning you know so you have to keep working it and make sure that 
you get as much as possible in there. See what I'm talking about? A lot of it stayed in the gloves, so I have to keep working it in. So the air fryer that I have, of course, you know, I'm an Amazon person. I buy almost everything from Amazon. So the perk about that one is a lot of times you buy a an air fryer and they tend to be very tiny and they don't come with enough um, stuff in there to help you make different dishes. So the one that I bought you can actually do so much things. You can make french fries. It comes with a ba fries basket. It comes with the rotisserie rod. Um, I mean, like in three different um, trays. So it's it was only $189, but it was well worth it because it was, a, I think it was 15 I'll, I'll double check and I'll, de um, you could check IamShayna.com for the more details about the air fryer that I use. And I've had it for over a year and it's easy to clean, easy to maintain. So if you're in the, if you're sh shopping around for an air fryer, I strongly suggest that one. Again, I will be linking it to my website. I am Shayna.com, and if you um, type in the search for rotisserie chicken, you'll be able to see all of the instructions of how to make it, what you need, and this video, of course, and of course, the, the recipe. Now we're tying it together to keep it in, you know, intact. So when we put it in the air fryer, it doesn't, you know, flip around. This part is a little tricky because I ran out of the thick, um, I forgot how you call this thread, but so I had to improvise. <laughs> So, bear with me. Yeah, because if you don't do this right, it's going to loosen up in the air fryer. And then it's gonna make a ridiculous, you know, noise every time it rotates. So you gotta make sure that it stays together. I, it's good now. Believe it or not, it's a three pound chicken. It's pretty big, but. And if you wonder what Kind, what brand of chicken? This is Purdue. So this is the rod that the air fryer comes with. I've been getting some requests about doing hacks, um, like stuff that I use. So I will definitely do a special video for that. This is not hard at all, what I'm doing. It look, may appear to be hard. It's not hard, it's just me. I'm feeling a little awkward today. So, okay, so here it is in the air fryer. The air fryer actually comes with a tray, but I still put aluminum foil because ain't nobody got time to be, you know, cleaning too much of that mess. So anyway, I put it on 400. 30 minutes and it gives you the option I'm trying to get a clear visual on the Voila. Of, um, the air fryer but it gives you the options of rotisserie 
So now here's the final end result. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Oh, and here's the vegetables that I made with it. But I have another video on how to prep and make that. And it's the easiest thing you can make. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. L. Hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe.